grid is something that the construction industry owns. You think about um, what it takes to build a building. I sit here in the office and I hear our project managers, everybody's chatting and, 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 and talking and there's all these things about obstacles you're overcoming every day. You know, the weather's bad, the shipments don't show up. You're constantly problem solving and it's, you have to have that grit mentality where you have the guts to keep going and you accomplish things that are greater than yourselves, the buildings that we use every day. So grit was something that I think we can really um, champion as part of the construction industry and teach others about grit. And so um, we wrote the tagline and it was a, it was a big success with, with the whole ad campaign. And so once Chris, after we had that, we, we went did, worked on that for years, but after we launched that, um, Chris you know, had this idea to write a children's book. So um, that's where um, I came in kind of like, well, we didn't mention a hammer, like, okay, why don't we think about something that is more epic than just maybe a hammer? Why don't we, and Chris has always mentioned about the the labor shortage, we keep hearing this. This is something you're like, wow, what is what is going on? So um, that's kind of the basis of where we started with the book where you're like, okay, let's let's talk, talk about grit. So um, I don't know. Yeah, it was it was fun. So we, we, we went to town and created this fantastical world where we made these magical characters that really would start to bring back this like heritage and artisan flavor of of, of what what the trades stand for. And, and Jenny, to her credit, came up with this epic adventure story and this this world that was crumbling and people had forgotten how to build. And, and so it was a it was a great metaphor for kind of what is starting to happen now in, in our own country and the world and other countries. Um, and so w the thought became, okay, well, what if we could make the trades the hero of, of the story? How could we make them the ones that save the world at the end? And so that's kind of really where we really leaned in. I mean, then we started going out and meeting with some of our subcontractors and our trade partners. We had the idea, we had it storyboarded and we, honed in on five uh characters so we picked um masonry carpentry welding like you know structural steel type stuff plumbing and electric electrical things and each character had um i mean each character these animated characters they have real things from real job sites that you would see so our electrician and uh his name is ohm and that oh, that's after. perfect electrical <laughs> reference that's good <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and living on all his um, his, his clothing, clothing yeah. is everything is is MC cable, and so it was super cool to work with our illustrator, and they knew nothing about construction, yeah. and to start you know going through and and really just honoring each one of these characters, um, and then kind of making it that the magical, the fantasy. Um, we have a, a, a giant nine foot ogre from uh um his name is mason the mason and he's a stone ogre and, he's also uh, an artist so he's super yeah, intelligent he, like he he's timeless and 